You go to Starbucks, learn their drink. Like when you go to the drive-thru, learn what they like to drink at Starbucks. It'll blow her mind. It will. Because women are, that's a hard drink. They're very complicated. <laughs> Men are easy at Starbucks. You, know, you ever go to the drive-thru? Can I help you? Yeah, give me a mint take coffee, no cream. Uh, honey, what do you want? Okay, here's what I want. Listen, listen, this is what I want. I want a tall, skinny, sugar-free, decaf, soy, vanilla latte, extra hot, whipped cream, double sleeve, no cup. Please tell me you got that, please. And I am on my way to Starbucks right now to order the Tim Hawkins Starbucks drink. For hot whipped cream, double sleeve, no cup. Going into the drive-thru. Get started for you. Yeah, let me get a tall, skinny, sugar-free decaf soy vanilla latte. Uh, extra hot whipped cream, double sleeve, no cup. I'm sorry, what was that? A tall, ice, skinny vanilla soy latte with what? Yeah, it's a tall, skinny, um, sugar-free decaf soy vanilla latte with uh, extra hot. Double sleeve, no cup. You want it double cup and then sleeve? No, no, double sleeve, no cup. That'll be a little hard. <laughs> How do you do it with those cups? I don't know. This is what it looks like. Because <laughs> that's double sleeve. It <laughs> gave me two sleeves. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's actually really good. I remember my mom when I was a kid. She used to give me good advice too late. <laughs> Think about it, good advice too late. Like when I was a kid, I hit my head on the corner of the table. <laughs> Careful! <laughs> Boy, I'm sure glad you were there, Hoss. <laughs> Who knows what would have happened, Nostradamus? <laughs> Moms are a big help when you lose something, aren't they? You ever lose something? <laughs> Your mom is just not a help at all. Hey, Mom, I can't find my wallet. Well, it's got to be somewhere. It's like, that's good. I thought I was going crazy for a minute. I thought I was looking for something that didn't exist. Thank you. And then they go, where'd you leave it last? You're good. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I was on a totally different track. I was looking where I left it. My dad's funny. I, I love my dad, but I locked my keys in my car at my dad's house not too long ago. And he's like, I'll help you out, brother. I'll be right back. So my dad runs in the house. He gets this wire coat hanger, comes out and undoes that coat hanger. I'm like, what you going to do, MacGyver? <laughs> Shut up. I'm opening that door. He takes that coat hanger. Five seconds. <laughs> he opens that car door. Takes a hanger. He goes, Timmy, here's what you do. Take that coat hanger. Put that in your trunk. I'm gonna let that line marinate just for a second. I don't, I don't have a punchline for that. It just freaks me out, you know what I'm saying? I remember my mom when I was a kid. She used to give me good advice too late. Think about it, good advice too late. Like when I was a kid, I hit my head on the corner of the table. Careful. Boy, I'm sure glad you were there, Hoss. Who knows what would have happened, Nostradamus? Moms are a big help when you lose something, aren't they? You lose something, your mom is just not a help at all. Hey, mom, I can't find my wallet. Well, it's got to be somewhere. It's like, that's good. I thought I was going crazy for a minute. I thought I was looking for something that didn't exist. Thank you. And then they go, where'd you leave it last? You're good. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I was on a totally different track. I was looking where I left it. We're driving to the restaurant. We always had the same, you know, the same fight. What do you want to eat? I don't care. What do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? I don't care. What do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? I don't care. What do you want to eat? Will you just make a decision? Okay, we'll have Italian. I hate Italian. Just want a large cup of whiskey. That's all. We get to the restaurant. We're looking at the menus. The waiter comes up, asks us what we want. What do you like? Hey, honey, what do you want? You know what I want? I want you to want to know what I want. <laughs> We're gonna need a couple more minutes. 
it gets worse, the guy comes back for a drink order. I say, yeah, I'll take a cherry Coke. Honey, you want a cherry Coke? <laughs> you don't even know who I am, do you? <laughs> I don't like cherries and I don't like Coke and I for sure don't like cherry Coke. <laughs> what, does your girlfriend like cherry Coke? <laughs> no, she likes Pepsi. My parents used to pray this with me in the dark when I was a kid. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to give. <laughs> if I should die, <laughs> before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul. Sweet dreams. <laughs> See you in the morning. Maybe. I don't know. 50-50. I can't guarantee anything. <laughs> oh, and don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> One time I get to church, seven years old, there's a dead body in the front. It's a funeral. Nobody explains that to a seven-year-old Michael Jr. I'm thinking that's how they roll. Like every three weeks or so, they bring a dead body in as an example or something. And the dude on stage yell at everybody in the audience like they the ones that did it. I remember asking my grandmother, I'm looking for some explanation. I'm like, Grandma, what happened to the man in the box? What happened to the man in the box? Her whole explanation was, he in a better place. I'm like, what kind of box did he live in before? My mom used to use phrases, I didn't know what she was talking about half the time. I want you to clean up this room, every nook and cranny. Every nook, what is the cranny? What's a nook? I don't know what that is either, you crazy lady. Is my nook dirtier than my cranny? Well, your nook is fine, but your cranny's filthy. Clean it up now, clean it up. Pronto, pronto. See, all she cared about, it's still this day, all she cares about if I have eaten. That's all she cares about. Have you eaten? Have you eaten, son? You look terrible. I remember one night, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning, I was in high school, I came home too late, you know, it's dark. I go in the kitchen, you know, and I turn on the garbage disposal. Why did they put that stupid garbage disposal thing right by the light? Oh, she was on me like a panther. Where were you? I was worried sick. You could have gotten hurt. Have you eaten? Have you eaten? There's a lot of hand sanitizer in church. Anybody notice that? I don't know. At my church, they have these two hand sanitizer stations right by the front door greeters. That is not a good message. People come in on Sunday. How you doing? Nice to see you all. It's good to see you. Thanks for coming. You're going to love it here. We just love people. You can just be yourself. You can just be yourself. We don't care. We don't judge you. We just love. You sit back and whatever questions you have, you let us know. We'll let you know whatever we can do for you, okay? Y'all newly married? You got four kids? Four kids. That is amazing. God, love. we love kids here. Kids are like a little gift from God is what they are. They are just wonderful little creatures that God gives us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where are y'all from? Arkansas? Okay. Think about Job in the Old Testament. Think about Job's wife. She must have been a real piece of work. I mean, the devil took everything from Job, man. Killed his kids, killed his servants, killed his livestock, covered Job in boils and sores. But his wife did not die. <laughs> That's saying something right there, isn't it? Like, hey, devil, Job's wife's right over there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Trust me, leave her. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> but we're at this Taco Bell drive-thru, right? And uh, we get, it takes us 15 minutes. We get all the kids orders, whatever, whole, okay. We get all the bags, get the money, get the food, throw the bags in the back. We drive off. A second later, one of my sons starts complaining in the back. He's like, I didn't order hard shell taco. <laughs> Mother. I said nachos. She goes, oh, my sweetie, I'm so sorry, honey. Give me the tacos. I am... Dang it, sorry about that, sweetie. (laughs) 
Nacho, shut up. Okay, I've never been more attracted to you than I am right now. I feel so dirty. Can you make daddy some nachos later, baby? Hey, honey, have you gained some weight in your rear end? The dress you wear reminds me of my old girlfriend. And where'd you get those shoes? I think they're pretty lame. Would you stop talking cause I'm trying to watch the game? If you're a man who wants to live a long and happy life, these are the things you don't say to your wife. Chick-fil-A. I could eat there seven times a day Where the people laugh and children play Oh, I'm in love with Chick-fil-A Suddenly I need waffle fries in front of me With some nuggets and a large sweet tea Oh, Chick-fil-A, you set me free Kids get in the van so we can go there today But their stores are closed, oh I know, cause it's Sunday No! <laughs>